we are at two and a half miles. Oh, you look so cute. Welcome to Think Retail On Air 2021. I'm Matt Madrigal, and I look after Google's products that are built especially for retailers. I worked in the retail industry for 20 years at retailers like eBay, Williams-Sonoma, and Fanatics. So before coming to Google, I was in your shoes and can probably relate to many of the things you might be facing today. Over the past year, you've seen an exponential increase in the use of technology by both people and businesses. This has resulted in an accelerated growth of e-commerce, e-learning, remote working, and online social connections. Our digital and physical worlds are fused more than ever before. For example, searches on Google Maps for curbside pickup have increased globally by 5,000% year over year. I saw this shift firsthand as a dad of three. Shopping now with my kids means exploring the latest cool finds on their favorite brand apps, turning to YouTube to see what their go-to YouTube creators recommend, and then picking up items via curbside pickup. With this massive once-in-a-generation merge between online and offline, you were faced with new, unparalleled circumstances. You all rose to the occasion, optimizing your online presence and digitally transforming when it mattered most to your business. Take ASOS. As a direct-to-consumer apparel company, we partnered with them to better understand changing customer needs amid the pandemic. ASOS focused on gleaning customer behavior insights from a global perspective, teaming up with Google to determine how to invest media to see where shopper needs were headed. With these insights, ASOS pivoted from marketing occasion wear to casual and lounge wear using machine learning and automation. This helped ASOS scale to reach the right people at the right moments around the world, driving double digit conversion increases. Or take Best Buy, with stores closed for much of 2020, Best Buy worked diligently to adapt to consumer behavior shifts. We supported their digital transformation with a focus on using their customer data more effectively. They also leveraged the launch of our new Buy Online Pickup in Store feature, and they grew online sales by 90% year over year. In fact, we'll hear more from Best Buy in a bit. Now you might be wondering, how will consumer shopping be different this year? I'd answer by saying, the new digital first behaviors learned in 2020 are carrying through to 2021. We see this in our data. When we compare search interests for near me and online globally, it's clear online and offline behaviors have converged. On me channel behaviors have become the new normal. As a result, for this holiday season, the ways we learned to shop during the pandemic and the way we once shopped before will continue to accelerate and blend. This may sound overwhelming, but this will present an enormous opportunity for retailers who can yet again rise to the occasion and capture this comeback. Here at Google, we've made tremendous changes over the past year to ensure our products help you deliver your most digital forward and omnichannel retail experience to customers. And there's two key things we've prioritized in doing so. One, we've made it as easy as possible for merchants to onboard at Google, helping you list products via free listings and highlight important information for your business faster than ever. And two, we've ensured you get the best value across all Google services to connect with customers and to meet their needs. We've made a lot of investment in an open ecosystem where all merchants can succeed and in automated tools to make your jobs easier. Let's walk through a few of the features and tools we've launched over the past year. For starters, we want to make it easy for you to connect with more shoppers in the real world. So in addition to spotlighting important information to customers like store hours and service updates, we've added new ways for you to showcase your in-store inventory online through local inventory ads. You can highlight buying options like products available for immediate store pickup, curbside pickup, and those available to pick up later. We're also extending these shopping labels to YouTube and Maps ads. 
We also know that it's incredibly challenging to plan your holiday marketing campaigns without solid historical data to model off of. Tools like Performance Planner can help you forecast campaigns and plan budgets, especially during seasonal moments when it's harder to predict allocation. You can also effectively plan your product assortment by knowing the most popular brands and products used in shopping ads and free listings through aggregated insights within the Best Sellers Report. It can help you decide which products to stock and which to increase budget for. We've also launched new store sales reporting so that retailers can track and optimize for sales online or in your stores. Along the lines of ease, we want to make it simple and seamless to scale your products across Google and to new surfaces. You can upload your product data and get set up on free listings to show your products across Google. Using regional overrides, you can also showcase regionally available or regionally priced products on Google to target audiences with the most relevant information. And in terms of new surfaces for your products to shine, you can now easily connect product feeds to your app campaigns to showcase holiday product images alongside in-stream video content on YouTube. Another great example of how you can easily harness the power of your product feed is with video action campaigns and soon discovery ads. You can show more relevant products in moments where customers are watching videos on YouTube and exploring their interests and offers in Google's Discover or Gmail. Lastly, we know it's important to create frictionless experiences for your customers, and apps are a convenient way for them to shop. In fact, 74% of consumers are more likely to be loyal to a brand if the app is seamless and easy to use. Deep linking brings shoppers into specific places in your app to make it easier for them to find what they're looking for. That's why we've launched two tools, a deep link validator and impact calculator to help you get started. Now, as I've said earlier, we're also focused on making sure you get the best value across Google. Our goal is to help you stay competitive. We know that deals and promotions can help you stand out and drive tremendous returns, especially during the holidays. This year, we'll be launching improved reporting in Merchant Center for your promotions so you can determine how they're performing to optimize your product assortment and discounts. And through our expanded deals feeds on the shopping tab, there will be even more ways for your deals to stand out and for customers to spot them, including on product categorical and merchant-specific searches. Finally, we've also launched new holiday-related shipping annotations so that you can indicate when shoppers can expect to receive items with callouts like free two-day shipping or get it by Christmas. And you can indicate extended holiday return windows as well with callouts like free 90-day returns or free returns until January 31st. This holiday will once again be unlike any before it, but it will also offer a distinct opportunity to drive even greater demand and growth. We've built several tools over the past year to help you lean in automation and successfully navigate the holidays to capture the comeback. Now is the time to harness this extraordinary moment. We're here to deliver the insights you want, the tools you need, and the partnership you deserve. Up next, you'll hear from Christina Willis, Director of Marketing at Best Buy for an inside look at how they're approaching this especially omnichannel holiday season. In 2020, as we were all suddenly forced to work, go to school, shop, socialize, and essentially live our entire lives from home, Best Buy's purpose of enriching lives through technology could not have been more important. And the products that we sold could not have been more in need. I'm Christina Willis, and I'm the Director of Marketing for Best Buy's advertising business. The role of Best Buy's advertising business is to connect brands with Best Buy's end customer with the ultimate goal of really enhancing that customer experience. Our marketing strategy really needed to shift to teaching customers how to shop with us while they were navigating all the other things they had going on. Our model is showroom experience where our customers could show up and get that expert advice and consultation from our blue shirts really shifted overnight. We really needed to figure out how we could continue to take the personal hands-on experience that we really wanted to create for our customers and translate that into a virtual world. The way we did that was we created digital content to help teach customers how to use products and how to choose them. So take the lab, for example, a digital video content series that helped harness the power of our blue shirts 
and the way that they've provided their expertise in store and turned that into authentic product reviews and testimonials that could help guide our customers on the right purchase decisions and turned that into video content that they could access outside of our stores. On the flip side, once they've purchased their product, being able to have them access to things like Tech Tips, which is a longer form how-to video that still provides that customer support for things like how to set up the product you just bought or take advantage of some of those more advanced features. And so with our continued focus on how the customers wanted to shop with us, we were actually able to grow e-commerce to nearly 40% of total sales in 2020. And we're excited to see that momentum continue for us this year. As we go into holiday for this year, we definitely expect our customers to be more omni-channel than ever and to shop with us in all the ways that we offer. And while we will always prioritize an exceptional in-store experience, we also expect our customers to continue prioritizing safety and convenience over all else, taking advantage of things like free shipping and curbside pickup. So continuing to meet customers where they are and educating them and communicating all the ways they can shop with us will be more important than ever. Google has been a longtime technology partner of ours. Our partnership with them allows us to mobilize our data and increase relevancy for our advertising partners. If I think about how that's gonna to come to life for us this holiday season, our paid search offering is a great example. We know our clients want to give world-class experience for our customers, even with the continued uncertainty and ever-changing shopping landscape. So with the collective power of Google and Best Buy, our paid search offering allows them the opportunity to do just that by highlighting and updating deals in real time, whether at the category, brand, or item level, by quickly pivoting messaging based on available inventory in store or online, and by pointing customers to inventory near them and highlighting fulfillment options like whether something is available to pick up within an hour or whether it is available for curbside pickup. This is just one example of how our partnership with Google helps us elevate our capabilities and enhance the customer experience. We'll continue to lean on Google to help us innovate and drive the market forward. I think we can all agree that we are continuing to be in this time of uncertainty and the empathy that we can continue to have for our brands, our clients, our customers has never been more important. Up next, you'll hear from Suchi Sastri, Managing Director and Partner at Boston Consulting Group with a deep dive on consumer shopping trends for this holiday season. I'm Suchi Sastri, Managing Director and Partner at Boston Consulting Group. I lead BCG Bay Area's efforts in retail with a focus on large-scale transformations. Last summer, we launched a series of surveys to over 12,000 U.S. consumers across 12 retail categories to see how the consumer path to purchase was evolving. Earlier this year, we conducted a follow-up survey to look at the full extent of the changes. We then partnered closely with Google to understand how these changes paired with what they were seeing firsthand on their platforms. Here's what we found. E-commerce will likely not continue to accelerate at the rate it did in 2020. During the pandemic, we saw a dramatic two to five times shift towards e-commerce. As we looked across the year, we found that move online happened quickly, though that has now stabilized at a higher rate. On top of that, many consumers are now looking for more in-person experiences. Only one in three consumers told us that they expected to visit physical stores less frequently after the pandemic. But as e-commerce growth likely slows and in-store shopping resurges, we are also finding that digital's role in shopping has been cemented. More than 70% of surveyed participants reported that their shopping journey involved online touch points. Digital will be a critical part of their journey, whether it's online or in-store. What does that mean for holiday shopping behavior? As Matt shared earlier, this means the season will be highly omnichannel. To help you understand what that means for your business, we took a closer look across the category level. Apparel, pets, home goods, grocery, and more to decipher what is motivating consumers to return to stores. Here's what we found. Four primary motivations bring consumers in store. Convenience, immediacy, in-person experience, and product trial. Categories tended to over-index on these pairs of motivations. The first pair is convenience or immediacy, which motivates approximately 40% of consumers shopping in-store for grocery, beauty, toiletries, pet care, healthcare, 
small appliances, home improvement, and auto parts. We see this on Google, where searches for Now Near Me have grown globally by over 100% year over year. The second is experience or product trial are important motivations for shopping in-store for jewelry, handbags, accessories, apparel, footwear, home furniture, mattresses, and major appliances. For example, searches for furniture shop near me have grown globally by over 100% year over year. Category interest is also constantly shifting with demand. While demand over the past 12 months was unpredictable, themes arose as consumers adjusted to life in the pandemic, such as summer at home, or virtual celebrations, or now cautious reopening. So what does this mean for your holiday marketing? Here are a few things we at BCG are recommending retailers like you, whether you're an omni-channel or pure play retailer, consider for this holiday season. First, how do you capitalize on the role of your stores this holiday? For multi-category retailers, the pairings of experience and product trial for in-store shopping might point to highlighting options based on category. Such options could include promoting your curbside options for convenience categories like grocery and pet. Or consider showcasing your digitally enabled experience like virtual try-on or VR to emphasize product trial experience for categories like beauty or home goods. Second. How can we improve the economics of e-commerce fulfillment? Matching urgency of need to delivery speed can help mitigate the economic pressure of providing fast delivery everywhere for everything. Our research found that there are different needs depending on the occasions a customer is purchasing for. For example, more than 50% of apparel and footwear purchases are either personal indulgences or purchased for a special occasion, meaning urgency is low though many retailers deliver sooner than consumers need them. However, for categories like major appliances, where a third of consumers are shopping for an emergency, over a quarter of consumers are not getting their products fast enough. For retailers, understanding your consumer's delivery needs and marketing against those is essential for optimizing their experience. Third, what is our shopping experience like on mobile? The shopper continues to be mobile first, and that has become even more pronounced in the past year. Since the pandemic's onset, more than a quarter of online shoppers have shopped on their mobile devices, even though many have had nearly constant access to their home computers. Searches for online shopping app download have grown globally by over 300% year over year. Retailers need to recognize the distinctive aspects of each channel and optimize the experience accordingly. Consider deep linking or driving app downloads for categories that are mobile heavy. Fourth, what is our acquisition strategy online? Digital will continue to be a critical touch point in the consumer shopping journey for customers new and old. On average, across categories, new customer engagement in influencer recommendations, expert recommendations, online advertising, video, social media, and in-store trial is greater than two times existing customer engagement. As always, when demand is unpredictable, automated solutions help you get in front of the right consumers at the right time. If you want to learn more about this, more information on our research is linked in the resources tab on this page. You can also consult your Google team for category level insights like this to help you navigate this holiday season and beyond. Up next, you'll go inside Google Marketing with Janelle Fisher, VP of Customer Experience at the Google Store. Hi, I'm Janelle Fisher, VP of Customer Experience here at Google, focusing on devices and services within the customer experience space. I can't believe it has already been eight years since we launched our first consumer product, Chromecast. This was quickly followed by others like Chromebooks, Pixel, and Nest. This initial launch was supported by our trusted third-party partners such as Best Buy. But as our business grew, we needed to launch our first direct-to-consumer online store, which pulled together the best of Google's hardware and now services all in one place. Now, I'm also excited to announce that we've launched our very first flagship store in New York City. As an omni-channel retailer within Google, we thought it might be interesting to open up our doors and show you how we're approaching the holidays this year. 
Last year, consumers were forced to change the way they shop. Maybe they ordered groceries online for the first time, used stores as pickup points instead of sources of inspiration, or actually took the need for inspiration online and used that as a new form of window shopping. 2020 accelerated our online habits. However, as the world begins to open up, the memories of in-store shopping really come flooding back. As consumers return to a new normal, striking the right balance between online and offline engagement is important. Understanding the shopper's intention, where they are in the journey, and what will be most helpful to them is super critical. Consumers won't be thinking about online and physical stores as two separate entities. Those lines have been blurred. They're thinking of you as one store. Knowing this, our holiday strategy is hyper-focused on creating this one store experience for our potential and returning customers, unifying all the ways shoppers can learn about and buy our products, whether that's through our own channels or third-party retail partners. We're doing this in two ways. First, we're making sense of the messy middle. To do this, we need to understand how our online ads affect the way shoppers interact with us across all of our retail touch points, and then show up in a way that's helpful at the right time and the right place to aid in discovery and purchase. Second, we're using insights and our lifecycle management system to remove friction during key decision-making moments. So let's use Pixel as an example. Our insight is that on average, it takes roughly 21 days for our customers to make their purchase decision. Now in that time, more than 80% do online research and more than half go into retail for a product demo or to try products hands-on. Even though we have some strong anchor points from this insight, there's still a lot happening between those actions and a purchase. To better understand this journey and the opportunities to be helpful were, number one, measuring, two, automating, and three, selecting the right ad format to be more personalized. We use ads to enhance our understanding of our consumer. But to do this successfully, we need to measure the right things. That means measuring all of our touch points across online and in-store to see how our ads drive impact and measure the full value of those interactions. We're doing this by leveraging store visits measurement. This gives us a map of how Google Ads are impacting our customers and the messy middle. With the right measurement strategy in place, we're able to get the most out of our advertising dollars by leveraging omni-channel smart bidding, which allows us to react in real time to the needs of our customers. Coupled with the right ad format, in our case, that's local inventory ads, this gives our customers the flexibility to purchase online, right at that moment, going into a store with available inventory to complete their purchase, or simply buying online and picking up in store to save time. With the one store experience in mind, each channel has a different strength to help our customers get the information they need to make a purchase decision or to use our products to their fullest potential. For our online channels, it's easy to find the right level of information and comparing specs and devices. For in-store, it's asking the right questions, getting information live, getting personalized answers, and getting immersed in integrated demos, and also having the opportunity to touch and try products in a home-like environment. For us, CRM is the common connector that allows us to share all of these strengths across channels. So what do I mean by that? Going back to our Pixel example, the first week post-purchase is a critical potential friction point. Some first-time buyers are switching from a completely different operating system and need to learn their way around a new device. People who buy in store can bypass this learning curve with the help of sales associates. But for those who've purchased online, we really need to be intentional about our onboarding path through CRM and find something that really mimics the in-store experience. Ultimately, the strategy will help us drive loyalty, and through this, we were able to reduce remorse return rates by 20%. We know as retailers that people no longer shop in a funnel. The customer journey is complex and highly personal. It involves considering and reconsidering many options. As retailers, we need to anticipate and serve individual needs at different points in the journey. I don't pretend to have all the answers, but what I'd tell other marketers to focus on this holiday season is finding the right moments of connection. That's thinking about your retail experience as a single entity, as consumers have leveled up and are seamlessly transacting online and in-store. They are always on. Using Google Ads to understand and drive action in your messy middle, 
And finally, thinking about what friction points you can alleviate with your marketing by understanding the intention of your customer and showing up at the right time with the right message. And with that, I wish everybody a happy, safe, and successful holiday season. Thanks for tuning in to our keynote. Up next are the hands-on sessions where Google product specialists will give you the tools to implement the right products and strategies for your business. Be sure to join the right track for you based on your business's needs and level of readiness. If you're looking for a holistic overview, be sure to watch the Google Academy best practice sessions for growing online sales and growing offline sales. If you're looking to dive deeper into specific product solutions or just want to learn more, be sure to watch the advanced strategies for growth sessions in the other tab. Thank you again for joining and here's to a happy holiday season.